So I first started playing with Robert initially in about 2006 or 2007. Um, we played together for three years. Um, in that time we were in the top ten in the world and then we were put to play with different partners. So then I played with Chris Adcock from England and he also had an English partner. Um, and my partnership with Chris was very successful but when I moved back to Scotland to prepare for the Commonwealth Games, obviously um, uh, I left the GB programme. So coming back to Scotland, he was the, the obvious choice because he was he was also back in Glasgow, and we were put together. And if our opposition were looking at us, they do see us as quite skillful players and quite good at the start of the rallies, it's like creating sort of good attacking opportunities. But neither of us are the most the strongest physical side. That's why we have to play with a bit more skill and a bit more tactics. So I think some of the players, especially the Asian, who are generally traditionally a bit more strength players, will try and impose that game on us. But that's sort of the nice thing about badminton is on to us to try and make it a bit more skillful game and a bit of tighter game. I have played against Robert. Uh, I played against Robert for a, in a cap for Scotland against England. Um, and uh, lost, and it was it was when I played with him at the time, so it was quite awkward because um, we knew each other's games so well. Uh, I also played him with uh, different partners when I played with Chris, and I was on the losing and the winning side, so I've had both experiences. But um, yeah, I respect him a lot as a player, so it's never nice playing people you know, and especially people that you know their game inside out. You feel as if they they have a little bit of an advantage, but. Uh, it's good to be back on the same side of the court as him now. The whole Scottish national team trains at Scotston, so it's been quite a good atmosphere as we're all seeing each other every day and hopefully helping each other to improve and get better. But badminton as a sport, you obviously have to play against someone else, so it's important to have quite high sort of caliber of partner to play against and keep your training at a good level. I think it is fair to say we're both um, more experienced than the senior members of the team. Uh, I think I'm the oldest girl and he's the oldest boy. Um, and together we've probably got the most most experience uh, you know, playing these tournaments and playing in multi-sport events. But um, I, you know, I hope we can set a good example in that way. Neither of us feel, feel that senior, although we might be. Uh, hopefully we can set a good example and, and if any of the ones who are having their first experiences of, of, of getting capped for Scotland or in team events can come to us for you know advice if they wanted it but I think it's more just leading by example and you hope to put other team members at, at ease as well. Go Scotland!